And it's that confidence as well. When a player ramps over your head to not panic, not freak out, just get the cone, get the peace control and back yourself because Bucky has been playing really well at the moment. He has been doing a lot of these big solo clutches. Ooh. As we play Ooh. like that, doesn't even put down the floor, just puts up the stair, phases straight in and there it is. That's the opening they needed. He goes down here, but teammate backs him up. Kanata here to back it up too. So I believe right now, it is pretty much a 1v1 situation though. It's, oh no, creo has got a slither of health, which is just enough. And then Kanata gets dropped down right now into 5JX's box. So can he do something here? They've got the wall. He has the right hand pick comes out. Fijex has the peace control. If Fijex does this, he's just been one of the best box fighting teams in what was almost, it's right now a 1v2 as Creo was on a slither Ooh. of health and he does just that. Fijex manages to win it. He gets the two eliminations, the 1v2 and that was rough. He didn't have a lot of health. That's super unfortunate and not a fight you'd expect Bucky, Creo and Kanata to lose. Yeah, definitely on a bit of a landslide here, falling down down. Elise here is going to get tagged up once. P God also hit on the rotate there, having to pause and pop a big pot. It's looking like it might be a little bit of a fight here going on with Jelty. Yeah, Jelty was left by himself. The follow-up response, the instant onto Shades, and Elise catches the two there as well. What just happened? That was the fastest 2v1 I've ever seen. <laughs> Showing that they have what it takes. Here's an interesting fight right now, though. Furious Blake and Cease up against Zayt and company, and it looks like Cease might not be alive right now, or maybe not in the fight here. It could be a 3v2. Let's see how it's going to unfold here. Saf's going to get tagged. Zayt's down on shield as well. So this is a bit of a swing that they have to make here. They do seem to have this some strong shotguns, though. This would be a big fight for the leaderboard, especially with the loot they have. The six shockwaves, if whoever can get their hands on this, would be massive. Ooh. But the 90 tag comes out. It's Furious. So it's Furious Blake right now and Cease in this fight. And they get instantly mopped up. That fight ended so quickly. And Saf now gets the legendary pump. Saf has done it a few times. He's named himself the 200 pump or the god pump. And looks like he might be having to do that here. But that's a big upgrade. They gained a lot more than they lost from that monster. So you just made one of the scariest, if not the scariest team in the lobby, even scarier. But I'm not sure why Blake, Cease, and Furious are pushing that fight. I know they come from Coral Castle. They're up on this edge, but they've got to know which team this is and you can't wipe them that quickly. Yeah, but I wonder about what they lost there. 85 builds here on Slax. This took a while and now they're late rotating. If this team makes the next rotate and they're okay, but now they're going to be forced to be on the bottom side of this giant mountain. They can't go up on the top and now they're still getting shot in the back from Tabs. This is what I mean. Some fights just aren't worth it. And I'm going to have to say that the team that I picked to win today just took a fight that wasn't worth it. it just straight up wasn't. They've lost way more than they've gained. They're now going to use shockwaves and bounce pads to get further in, but they still have to get on top of the mountain. And we have a player being left behind. I'm not sure who that was, but one of the trio is now left behind Ooh. to fend for themselves. And when you take these fights and you don't close them out quick enough, these are the situations you get put in. Okay, Slax is going to be able to manage to tick it off there. The couple AR shots is going to be enough to do the deal. So it's going to work out. Slax at least gets to save Jock, but Jock rotating in late. The damage is starting to tick up from the zone here. He's probably going to fall before he gets there. Yeah, Ooh. he is. So they are going to have to waste time to pick him up. You see, at least he survives though. They're looking really, really good coming into this one. I still can't believe Dave Mir on reverse on 7.75 average eliminations. It was over eight coming into today. So they seriously know how to find players and get eliminations, which on that consistency is insane. Yeah, definitely. And Edgy, uh, Edgy and Sensei also just finished up the Elims there. So full team wipe for them. One step close to that third place slot. It's just neck and neck right now between Booga, Jamper, Avery, Commandment, Illis, and Edgy up there. Tahi, Sprite, and Gabe here trying to make a closing on the point gap that they have as well. They were doing pretty decent into this round as well. You can see Harpoon coming into handy. Only going to lose one shot there. Still some free loot up above. Yes. We want that metal. No, he's not going to be able to get it. Not all of it at least, but completely capped off at least. Yeah, unfortunate for them. They did have that storm surge or that storm pressure coming in from behind too. So that's how that one's going to work out. Here's some more air fire. Big, big focus coming in here. Dijon's going to find Clicks. Yes, Clicks starts to actually crash pad away. It all makes sense there. Left to wooden builds. That's not going to be enough to hold off or fend off the fire from two teams because Mars OW sitting right up above as well. In the feed there, Gage is going to go ahead and conclude that fight on the northern side. So they're going to have to rotate south. And he's going to catch another one there. Swayso as well. And Connor fishes up Sab Tona. So that's a full wipe for them. Crumbler's going to find a knock too. These are big names. These are names that were sitting on top of some teams in the congestion, all finishing up box fights right now inside the zone. That's massive for teams getting refreshes. 
Yeah, this is going off the mountain, monster. That's all I'm looking at is that zone right now. This is going to be so interesting. If it pulls back north, we'll be okay. All these teams are going to have to now kind of pile in on that top area because you can see that big half-half zone. It goes half in the existing zone, half out into Storm. But if you look at it, there's a good solid, what, like 20% right now that is completely off the mountain that no one is going to go into. So expect to see teams huddled up really close. This vertical shot is perfect to show what I was talking about. All those teams are going to huddle up on top of those builds there right near the kind of Stark Industries main building. And this end game is going to get really chaotic really quickly. Definitely. Mega dubs in Riverson and the one with high ground. Here's Connor's perspective. Connor goes up with a shockwave. What can he do with it as he's now just lost from his teammates? There it is. He finds them. Remember, Connor is typically the one leading them out. An IG, uh, IGL in this team. The Prack admin himself. Okay, going for the replace here. The cone grab as well and the big follow-up nice. on Sir Frog. Nicely done there. Another elimination. That's four for them. Not too bad considering they've been slipping behind. I believe they were in 18th place and the best they've seen so far is about the top five. So pretty good. They're very much on the bubble right now. This is the halfway mark yeah, here too. Oh 27 my. points. It Zay, looks like they're doing better today than before. What's up? Zay, Zay took out high ground. Zay dropped oh, Riverson Zay. on Ooh. height for sure. There we go. Wow. Zay's going for him. But someone else is going up now as well. So it looks like there's a lot of people fighting for it. And I think based on this movement, zone's going back. It does. So they don't have to go off the mountain. But it's going to go back through all those old builds, all those old factories. So a little bit of a break here for the teams on low and mid ground. But they've got to be careful on where they go. You're going to have to be so smart on your rotates down here. If DGen wants to make something out of this, because there's going to be a lot of people lurking around these builds. But if Zay's team's on a high ground again, they're in such a dominant spot. But this is Booger, Jamper, Avery, Stomping Ground. This is their drop. They know it well. They've dropped here. They should be able to do something with high ground, surely, as Crumbler takes down Zayt. So they're not the kings up on high ground right now. No, that means it's a back and forth. And that's that's on the line, too. That's on the storm line there. As Gage is going to find dubs, too. So that means they've also gone up a layer. There's at least three teams fighting in the mid to high ground layers right now. And there it is. The rotate's coming through. You can see how many players are still left up. Dijon trying to stay in front of the zone right now. 500 damage above the storm surge. They don't have to worry about it, but everyone else is going to be in the scramble. Good guy, Nani's going to fall there. And this is a great opportunity to find the loot. Will they be able to pick it up? I believe so. Just take a look here. Stretch and Sap have to do something right now because they were still going for that high ground without Zayn. And it is hard to hold high ground this early as a duo, but if any duo can do it as them. But Jacques picking up two eliminations in the feed. Edgy as well. So big names dropping right now as everyone rotates here. Animal hitting some really nice tarps, but the higher he goes up, the more he exposes himself at second high. But never mind. Mega's there. I see Sap down there in a little bit of build fight. Sap's trying to get up and above this. He does. Stretches up there too. So Riverside dubs and Mega just causing chaos for the high ground as DJ's team goes Ooh. up for it. I said it. I asked early when I saw the five shockwaves. Are we going to see this team go for high ground for the first time? And yes, we are. And they did it perfectly. He's going up again. I think DJ got a little bit panicked there. He didn't need to shockwave, but they have high ground regardless. Everyone else who went for it has just whittled each other down. DJ and Aids and Animals playing the patient game come up late and they take it. Definitely. Edgy on the other side as well has a bunch of shockwaves too. But they're in the ultimate low right now. They're trying to do something big. Here it is. He's going to jump right on top of someone. And he works them really quickly down there. Another refresher for them too. Reverse to K Mero and Day find themselves alive in another end game though. As Booga, Avery, Jamper all getting the big pressure here. Avery has no more HP. It's Dejan who's raining fire from up above. And already at six eliminations. This is a great hold for the high ground team of Animal and Azures. And there it is. They take down Stretch 2. Still made it into 7th place or 8th place. So not a bad performance. Miro takes down Avery. So we got some big high point swings. And all this is going to mean is those teams that are up the top who have gone down now are going to get pushed further and further down because DGen's team is not that high up on the leaderboard. They're having a big jump up this game. But do they have the composure to close this out? They're splitting the builds. So far, they're playing it really well. But there's still some very big sharks beneath them in the water. And DGen goes up into the ultimate height. Miro goes down. Skittles goes down. So Skittles, Ronaldo's team. And Zum's still up. So they're having a a big jump up in the leaderboard as well. This is really going to shake things up as Edgy's still alive. So can Edgy jump out of that fourth place as DJ and Aves and Animals playing this one so clean, but I don't know if they can win the end game. It's going to be a repeat monster. We have the same trio, Commandment, Edgy centered, all healthy on low ground as Ooh. Mars goes up and no, he gets knocked. So this is only better for the low ground teams as DJ's team is getting fought for this high ground. Animals not looking too healthy. Yeah, but that Shockwave is going to bounce back. It's going to keep them in the game. They managed to stay up here. Dijon looks like he's going to come on down. He has enough HP to do it. Remember, this victory royale for them could mean that they can jump up eight or so slots, break into that top 10 for the first time around. What a way to start off your day, too. So many eliminations already. In the low ground, though, this team is not going to give it away for free, and they have Shockwaves. Edgy Sense of Commandment. Fully healthy as well across the board. I mean, if there's a team to do it, it's them, think... especially since Doe's right up above him. 
I think they're going to do it. Back-to-back -back wins from Lone Animal's Ground. Down. We have not seen this. We have not seen this once in East. Animal goes down right now, but the heal-off. DJ can upset this. He's already no taken way. one tick. He has the 90 health. He's going for the no medkit heal-off. The old-school classic. And no, they Ooh. upset it. The pump shot comes out, though. DJ might get the siphon off this. If he gets out quick enough. 40, oh. 30. He gets the elimination, but he doesn't get the finish. Can he get it? 10 HP. No, he falls. Aegis has to do something, but there's nothing Aegis can do. We have Scented, Edgy, and Commandment winning back-to-back -back wins from low ground. We haven't seen this monster. Sensi, <laughs> Scented, Edgy, and Commandment there. The well-timed shockwaves up from Commandment. So I'm pretty sure that alone, outside of their eliminations, which, by the way, 12 Ooh. is absolutely going to rocket them all the way up to first place. So, uh... And something that we didn't really see there was Crumbler, Nexi, and Mars. They've actually moved up to fifth place, which is really, really good for them. And they're kind of narrowing that gap a little bit. They had nine eliminations and placed fifth.